Hello. You know what time it is? What? It's hair dye time. Not you. So, I guess I got the memo because I'm taking this faded pink hair that lots of people seem to be rocking here on YouTube and I'm gonna turn it into green! Woo! So excited. Oh my god, my daughter's laughing at me. She thinks I'm silly. It's fine. So, um, yeah. I tried Dirty Mermaid when I didn't chop my hair out. A lot has happened since I last filmed. And I've made a lot of videos, but I don't think I'm gonna upload them. So this will be it. Anyway, um, yes, I cut my hair and I bleached it. All that virgin hair I had after I cut it, I bleached it. And then it wouldn't take toner very good. So I was like, all right, pink, whatever. And got tired of that and just, I don't know, it's just not my thing. Yeah, yes. I don't know if I need to do the hand thing or not. Also, I didn't get the memo of wearing black when I do my hair green. Apparently that is a thing. I, I looked it up for inspiration. Um, this green, I wanted to see on many people. And I'll wear black, 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 black. And this color looks good with so many other colors, like the color that I'm actually wearing. It looks good with that. I mean, orange, neons, I can go on and on. So you're not limited to just black if you do want to try this color. I guess I can show you how to put it on. I don't know. I'm sure you've seen it a thousand times, but why not? Okay, so I'm ready. Got my gloves. I'm actually going to put two pairs of gloves on because... Ooh. These are my nails, by the way. Um, and a DIY gel kit. Uh, these are the jelly colors. Oh, I think it's Gayo is what I got. I got Beetles too, but, okay. but I do like their lamp. Their lamp's good. So I can maybe show something on that later. But yeah, so two pairs of gloves. My daughter thinks I'm really dorky. It's only going to get worse. Because, you know, she's in grade school. This is trying to do it kind of like a can of tuna. Like in the old, old days. A little tool. Oh, God. Oh, Kyle, you don't even know what a can opener is. Uh, I'm scared of something. <laughs> I thought about swatching it, and I'm like, yeah, you know, fuck it. And then I got this shit on my fingers, and then wiped it on paper towel. Ooh, I swatched it. Yeah, look at that. It's teal, it's definitely teal, teal, teal. So it's funny how it shows up so green on some people's hair and more teal on others. But um, I like light and grime because for me, it's true to color on my hair. I've never had any issues. And it stays, it stays just fine. Okay, so I'll do the first swipe. A few, first few. Well, you guys can get that satisfaction, you know? Do a little ASMR. Mm. Uh, yeah. Wait, is that what that is? No, it's more like. There you go. A little bit of that. I'm not a huge fan. Oh! What's that for? Nothing, just a little shot. But it'll be fine. Because teal is like really flattering for my skin tone. Like if I wear teal, like a dark teal like this shirt, my skin and eyes just pow, pow. You'll see. So that's why I'm not worried. Okay, 
So here it is. It's all on. And I'm a little nervous. Um, just not quite sure of this color, but we'll, we'll see when it rinses off. I think it's going to be even brighter and lighter with this. I, don't know. I really love the Dirty Mermaid. I love that color so much. So I thought this was just more of a pigmented version of that, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh well, not the end of the world. And that color took really well with my hair too. So I put my trusty produce cap on. You know, you gotta stay green and reuse stuff around. I'll hopefully be back tomorrow with a full look and looking good. All right. Have a good night. If it's nighttime where you're at, it's nighttime somewhere. It's nighttime here. So good night to me and I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. And, um, yeah, so it's the next day and here is my hair. Um, as you could probably sense, I don't love, but I don't hate. Um, I just feel like it's a bit, I don't know how to describe it. I like intense. It's something else. I mean, what's done is done. So I'm gonna try to experiment a little bit and use my toner on top. I have Smoky Silver and Pearl, and these are both a level seven. So I, I think it will add something to it. And if not, if it adds nothing, whatever. And it's messing up my manicure. So, and this is from touching dry hair. This is a, I, I use gloves when I rinse, so. I'm done. So I wash my hair. It's wet and ready. It's so green still. Um, yeah. It <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> it continued to bleed. Yeah. And then, oh, in case you were wondering about what was going on with my eyebrows, I was tinting them. I tint them regardless of what hair color I have, but definitely needed to tint them a little bit darker for this obviously. So yeah, I think it's not getting dry too much. And I already made the mixture. Look, ideally, if I were to do this again, go from light to really, really dark, I would put a base like this on, because this is definitely like a dirty blonde. Like a, like a darker, medium, dirty blonde. And you don't need to use a brush for this stuff, or the other, the green. I just do because it's easier to scoop out of these smaller containers, rather than your fingers. It's easier, less messy. And if anybody is wondering how I'm doing mental health wise, I'm happy to report that I'm, I'm doing great. Um, I think I talked about my dip and having some depression and I got on a different medication. I got on a Bilify. And that stuff freaking gave me the zoomies, which I love because I have so many hobbies. So I'm like, yeah. And that's how I ended up painting like the entire house pretty much. Um, yeah, so, but that subsided. You know, I don't have the zoomies anymore, but now I'm starting to wonder if I should go up. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, but <clears throat> I feel like it helps with my mood a lot. 
because I have to be able to take things in stride. Uh, I have difficult kids, I'm not gonna lie. They're, they're difficult. And they're, they're, not, they're not bad kids or anything like that. They're just, you know, I mean, when people joke and say that kids are assholes, no, like legit, mine are complete assholes. Except for Chance, he's, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's doing really good. Um, I'm in, still in the DBT intensive course, which I really enjoy. It's a, a group therapy setting, um, which I had a lot of reservations about for a long time, but just doing it, like, because that's kind of mandatory, I had to do it, because, like, I was in the mental hospital or whatever, whole other story. But, yeah, so, <clears throat> it wasn't like, Oh, I just, I love this. Like, this is so great. I was really biased against it. But then I sort of realized, like, I actually really benefit from the group setting. Um, you know, because sometimes, like, for me, like, with, especially with one-on-one -on -one therapy, I don't have a lot to say. Because I've said it already. So... It, it's good to hear like other people's experiences and then I can bounce off of that. Or I could bring my own to the table too, but I'm more willing to in that setting. I just feel like with the one-on-one, -on -one, I'm just like sitting there and they're, you know, they're sitting there and I'm sitting there and they're expecting something and, and they're always expecting something. They have their own, everybody has their own agenda, every therapist. But it, you can like disappoint them because the one thing about therapists versus psychiatrists, well, they're not exempt either, but very prevalent with psychology is that they come <clears throat> from the same shit that you come from, broken homes and trauma and all that. Because, oh, this is why I do it. Yeah, oh shit. <laughs> I thought about doing it too. So, <clears throat> saying that, yeah, they, they have their, their, their moods and their expectations and judgments, and it's just you two, so the, the pressure's on, and yeah, I don't know, and the main thing for me is like literally I just, I don't have much to say in that situation, so Circling back, yes. Loving my, my DVT course and I am, how do I, so my, my husband is dealing with a, uh, a deep depression, an episode, it's pretty long lasting. Several, several months now, over six months, so it's a big deal. Um, and I'm sort of his tutor and I, I do like that. Not that he's depressed, but to be able to help him. Because I swear, the idea is just is lo as logical, just makes sense. It's, it's not hokey or anything. And there's like some kind of like, you know, like Eastern type of medicine in there. But even that's not really hokey because, I mean, it's been shown to be effective. So it has merit. And there's no harm in a lot of it. That's the thing is it's a low risk that, or no risk. Um, for treatment. All right, so yeah, so that's that. I'm just gonna finish the this on my hair. I'll be back with the final look. Mile and fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning.